Well, welcome back, guys. And this is... I'm probably going to start a new um, a new reacts for this. It's uh, from the show uh, Mock the Week. It's a uh, improv... Kind of improv-style comedy... Sh uh, political comedy show over in Britain. Uh, you know, some things might go over your head because of their politics and everything. But for the most part, it's a pretty funny show, especially when they do stuff like this. And stuff like this is pure. It's pure uh, improv. It's just off the top of their head. They do have a stand-up segment where they get fed. Uh, they get uh, on on the stage right here, and um, they get a topic, and then they have to do like a type five on the topic where they have it. Where they have a type five on you know like healthcare. They got to do five minutes. You know, one two two people up there. One goes first. Healthcare. They do about three to five minutes. Move on. Next person. Uh, food. And they got to do three to five minutes on food stand-up style. And you know they might have something written or or, or like uh, Milton here. It's got a um, it's, it's just stand-up. So they might have some material for it. Something pops up. Oh, I've got something for that. And they got a good type five for it. And then sometimes you can tell there's people who are like stretching just to get to like. Well, and I had a dog one time. Pets, pet. You know what I mean. So, but yeah, it's a good show. Funny people great stuff and it's british so it's also it's also very dry and witty and very diverse too so i hope you like it if you like what i do please like share and subscribe notify bell click it and check out my facebook and twit 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 uh, twitter uh, and this is a uh, bbc joint right here bbc bbc subscribe to their channel i did uh, and the links will be in the description for this and my facebook and twitter but mainly this so get on let's get on with it on likely lines from a romantic novel. This guy's funny. I know I promised you fellatio for your birthday, she said. But they didn't have any, so I got some vermicelli. That's a food joke. Ever since our night of passion, I've burned for you, she said. Desire, he asked. No, cystitis, she said. <laughs> Turn the light off, she said. What about all the boats? said the lighthouse keeper. <laughs> I'm not the most sexually minded man, George told her, and I know that the average man supposedly thinks about sex every dick sucking. Six seconds. <laughs> Be mine. Had you heard right? No, he said. B minus. This essay is shit. <laughs> Anastasia Steele stood in front of Christian Grey, dressed as a mummy. Oh, I'm sorry, she said. I thought you said you were into bandage. <laughs> She'd never forget his first words to her. Cheer up, love. Might never happen. <laughs> he gasped as her hair cascaded down. Well, it was February. Who waxes in winter? <laughs> Carry me upstairs, she said. I'd rather not, said the lighthouse keeper. <laughs> Simon sidled across the nightclub floor and used the one chat-up line he knew always worked. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Lucifer! <laughs> Literally perfect in every way, as far as she could tell from the dick pic. <laughs> he took off her top and did what makes all the girls go crazy. Hong Hong! <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you, said Michael, honking another massive line of cocaine. <laughs> Our relationship is on the rocks. <laughs> That's inevitable, said the lighthouse keeper. <laughs> she felt the stranger's hand slide round from behind and gently cup her breasts. She's a double 38G, Mom! We're going to need the mega cut! <laughs> I am with child, she said. Yeah, but you're not actually a child, so it's still full fair.
He stood before her almost naked and slowly reached down. No, she whispered. Leave your socks on. <laughs> Molly was stunned as she reached into the bucket of popcorn next to her and grasped a big handful of her boyfriend's penis. <laughs> After all, she'd gone to the cinema alone. <laughs> At that moment, she knew with butterflies in her stomach that she was banned from the London Zoo Butterfly House. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yes. This is a good show. Uh, it's, like I said, it's on BBC. It's probably on like BBC One or Two. or I think it's on BBC One. And I don't know if it's on BBC America or if you've got like a satellite package you can get the uh, overseas station. So it's on BBC. I've been watching it shh, on YouTube because I don't have, I have BBC America and all BBC America shows is Star Trek. So if you like what I did here, please like, share, subscribe, notify bell, click it, and check out my Facebook and Twitter. And uh, check out Mock the Week.